Hello fellow FODMAPers, it's Megan Marie from WinnieandMarie.com and today we are going to make a loaded baked potato soup which sounds like it would be full of dairy. So yes and no. We're going to have some substitutions in there to make it low dairy but not dairy free completely. Um, it will be gluten free and it's going to be FODMAP friendly. So let's get in there. If you watched our video uh, that we posted most recently, you'll notice that we did a market salad, that we made a salad that's inspired by Chick-fil-A's market salad. And if you wanna have a soup to go with that market salad, this would be a great pairing for that. So you can have a soup and salad lunch that are FODMAP friendly. Um, you might wanna leave out some of the ingredients. So with the loaded baked potato soup, we are going to use sharp cheddar cheese. Um, so if you're pairing that with the salad that we made, you'll probably want to leave out the feta because that would be a lot of dairy altogether. Um, so we're probably going to go overboard on, on the FODMAPs there. So make sure you stick to your serving sizes and you're cautious when you're combining things like that um, of the substitutions that you might need to make or things that you might need to leave out in order to make it a completely FODMAP friendly meal. Or alternatively, you can also eat them um, at different sittings, right? So have a salad, wait a little bit, and then as a separate meal or snack, you could have a small cup of soup. Or if you want, you could have an actual bowl of soup and make this a full meal and maybe a side salad, a smaller version of the salad that we made in the last video. So you may notice that I'm wearing the same outfit and probably look the same as my last video and that is because I am filming the uh, soup and salad recipes at the same time because this is what I'm eating for the week. Uploading them as separate videos so that I can have them um, on the website as separate uh, recipes so it's nice to have them separate so that way if you're searching for just the salad or just the soup then you can actually find the separate videos. You don't have to sit through a whole video that has two recipes in it. For the bacon, <clears throat> it is baked at 375, so we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven. Start by cooking your bacon. I ended up only using half of this, but it's always good to have extra bacon lying around, right? In the oven you go until you're crispy. Next, we'll wash and cut up one and a half pounds of golden potatoes into bite-sized pieces. Voila! Now we'll need to make a roux. So in a large pot, melt two tablespoons of butter on very low heat. When you're making a roux, timing and temperature are absolutely critical. So make sure you have all your ingredients for the roux ready and set aside. And monitor the temperature to make sure your roux doesn't burn. Otherwise, Gordon Ramsay might show up in your kitchen and call you a donkey. All right, so once the butter is melted, we're going to slowly add a sixth cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour and continue to mix our roux. If you need to at any point cool down the pot fast, just take it off the eye. Just make sure you continue to stir so it doesn't burn. Now, we're not using full-fat milk in this recipe, so hopefully this roux will thicken up the potato soup. We're slowly going to add two cups of almond milk and keep stirring. Normally, baked potato soup calls for half and half and sour cream, but we're going to use unsweetened dairy-free coconut milk yogurt to keep this low FODMAP. We'll add half a cup of this yogurt and then slowly bring the mixture up to a simmer. We need to bring this up to a simmer and add some chicken broth. We're going to use Zoop chicken broth. Note that not everything they make is FODMAP friendly, but on their website they say this product is low FODMAP. I know in the Spoonful app it says it might be low FODMAP, and that's just because Spoonful scans for ingredients and Zoop has natural flavor in it, which could mean it contains garlic and onion, but I have tried this before with no issues, but just so you know, something to test out. So we'll do two cups of that and then add some pepper and salt to taste. Now that we have brought this up to a simmer, we can go ahead and add the potatoes to get them cooking until they are mushy. Because we are actually gonna mush some of these potatoes up and that will create more thickness in this soup since like I said, we are not using anything that has full fat in it. 
Our bacon is done. It's nice and crispy. Let's just zoom in on that sizzle for a minute. Next, let's chop up some green onions. Make sure you use everything but the white part. We'll use about half a bunch. I hope you get a good laugh at how oblivious I am that I am totally in the shot and I pretty much just filmed my shoulder the entire time. So let's just skip ahead. And although I do love some greasy bacon, my stomach doesn't, so I'm gonna wipe off some of that grease. Uh, as you probably know, fat can be a trigger for IBS symptoms. And then we're gonna chop that bacon up. Let's return to our soup and add our bacon, our green onions, and one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. It is time to enjoy this soup finally after all of that hard work. You can find this recipe and many others at woodyandmarie.com. You donkey!